spot, but the net, game is live, 3, 2, 1, go! Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Magpul PTS Masada. This is also known as the ACR, which stands for Adaptive Combat Rifle. And in Battlefield 4, this gun is known as the ACW-R. It's designed as an M4 replacement. Most of the weapon is made out of high quality polymer with an aluminum upper receiver. It has a very recognizable Magpul pistol grip, which I'm a huge fan of, and it has an ambidextrous fire selector. Everything snaps into place firmly and the build quality really does feel on par with that of its real steel counterpart. The stock is highly customizable, giving you many different positions to lock it into place, and it also comes with an adjustable cheek riser, which is not too common on your average carbine or assault rifle platform. Although in the airsoft world, especially with lower face protection, you're probably not going to want to use that cheek riser in the up position. The whole stock itself collapses down very small and can even be folded over in case you want to use it inside of a vehicle or extreme close quarter cornering. The mag release is ambidextrous and feeds the same Stenag style airsoft magazines as your average M4. On the front we have a nice polymer handguard which can be outfitted with extra Picatinny rails as needed. It comes with high quality flip up sights and it even has a toolless barrel swapping system just like the real version. The charging handle locks into place giving you access to the hop up unit and allowing you to adjust the accuracy of this gun very precisely. Now I got mine at the Airsoft GI web store and if you're interested in the gun or any of the attachments I put on the gun they are all linked in the video description. Now as for gaming with this gun I took it on over to SC Village which involved a lot of fast paced and close quarter combat. The ACR performed really well. Go 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 go! They're already here. Hit, hit. Hey, we need a we need a sweep right. Yeah, yeah. Alright, copy. Level cap. Hit. Shield down, shield down. Back level, up. Give me level three, two, one, go. Go, go, go. Left side, left side, left side. Now that map is called Baghdad and it's really open and good for getting some nice movement and flanks going. This here is Viper and it's definitely much more close quarters and very campy. Copy. I, I got one around this corner. Oh, my God. 
Clearing out the bigger buildings in this game can be very difficult as there are a lot of weird angles you have to worry about and also the close quarter engagement rule of about 10 feet. I got him, I got him. The spool? Yeah. On the right or right here? Uh, right in front of it. Low? Uh, okay. I got him, I got him. Hey! Hit. Because of all the hiding spots on this field, aggressive pushes are some of the best tactics to break any sort of stalemate. Pushing. Bang, bang. Hit, hit, hit. Here I've switched over to the other side of the field and I'm gonna employ some prone tactics to try and hold some of our ground. Shield, get up front. He's Take it. Some fire. Right. Throw the fire. Shield, offset and spot. Where's Jordan? Where's Jordan? I wanna shoot Jordan. Shield, offset and spot. Moving to another field, this one actually has some fast movement in the beginning of the round, yet you have to watch out for dummy grenades. Dead. Thanks. Watch out, this corner up here. Oh, I got him. Pre-fired. <laughs> All right, hang on. I'm taking this option. Hey, somebody cover that door and I'm gonna cover this window. Okay. Watch out, watch out. Grenade, dude. Fucking grenades, dude. As you can tell, I'm not a huge fan of dummy grenades. Different fields have different rules regarding dummy grenades. A lot of fields actually just disregard them. Yeah. Overall, I really like the Masada. Unfortunately, it's full auto feeding wasn't quite on par with what I'm used to, so I might tweak around with the gun to try and improve that a little bit. But I would still recommend this gun a lot. Aesthetically, it's a beautiful looking gun. Its build quality is really great, and it's gonna be highly customizable with any parts you might already own. So that wraps it up for my first gameplay with the AEG Masada. Again, if you want to see where you can buy it, check the links in the video description. I highly recommend the Airsoft GI web store as they have a lot of good sales going on. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.